Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's uh, it's a chilly, chilly day today. It's uh, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. We were up late last night, so we, we didn't wake up until uh, about dinner time. So I feel like a teenager again. Um, yes, yeah, so I was talking about heating, trying to get the place warm. I mean, there's the, there's our wood burning stove. It's very good. It kicks off a lot of heat, but there's a few problems associated with that. Excuse me, I'm just messing with the selfie stick to get it in the right place for what I want to show you. There we are. Okay, this is our this is our house. This is our room. If we, if we have a look at the height of the ceiling, which is right up there. Now I'm I'm actually five foot nine, five foot nine and a half, something like that. So if I put my hand in the air, I can just reach the top of that arch. See, so I don't know how high the ceilings are, but they're a lot higher than the, than the white paint is a bit deceiving. So what I'm trying to say is that most of the heat from the fire goes up there. About It's got to be a 12 foot ceiling. Okay, so we're heating the, the whole of the area in the ceiling. And then when the ceiling starts to fill with heat, it will reach these arches and then it will spill and go down the corridor, okay, towards the bedrooms, which isn't a bad thing because there's only two bedrooms back there, but it will also spill through this arch and fill this 12 foot ceiling. And I said to Fiona, what we need, what we need, because heat rises, I'm trying to explain this, and she's not stupid, she understands. So, but if you want to be warm in the living room, what we need is curtains like this. This is the doorway. You can see I'm five foot nine. So if we had curtains like that, but on the inside of the dining room up there, okay, so we could pull the curtains closed, then it would contain the heat in this one room. And so for the coldest months of the year, we could we could we could do that and we could be relatively warm because it, it no matter how hot that fire gets you know it doesn't make a lot of difference and then of course from the dining room it will spill out into the kitchen which has got an even higher roof there's rafters up there look that's got to be a 14 15 foot high roof and then the heat will spill into the hallway now these doors these doors are not here for nothing. We close these because Lady Faith's room is up there. Up there. And all the heat goes up there. So the only person who's actually genuinely warm in the winter is Lady Faith in her in her tower. So yeah, that's that's the thing I said to Fiona. We need we need the, the very quick solution to the problem is to put some curtains up above that arch and just close them in the winter. I mean, it's dead easy to just go and buy a pole like that and just screw it, a couple of screws, boom. A couple of curtains from Chino's, boom. And we'd be as warm as toast in there. But Fiona doesn't want to do that. So we all have to have our hood-ups in the, in the living room at night. A coat on, standing by the fire trying to keep warm. I just feel so sorry for people who live in uh, places that are really, really cold, like Canada. And uh, I think Canada gets incredibly cold, really, really, really cold. People have said minus 40, and I'm like, minus 40. I'd just want to die if it got that cold, honestly. <laughs> So, anyway, there this is my tale of the fire. And the temperature. What's the temperature doing? I haven't got my glasses on. Can't see. This is what happens to you when you get old, you know. It's actually 17 degrees in the house. Which isn't too bad. Centigrade. Not too bad at all. There's my wife. She's having a cigarette. Look. She's in the garden, singing it. 
Yeah. I say, darling, is it chilly? It is a bit, yeah. What were you saying? It doesn't want to the temperature? Well. What's the temperature on the thermometer? Um, am I looking at, I'm looking at the left, yeah? The it's about eight, seven or eight degrees. Seven or eight outside? Yeah. What were you saying? Fiona doesn't want to do what? Put a curtain up on the arch. Well, yeah, because our daughter lives upstairs. Her bedroom is upstairs and it would cut her off from the heat. And as a parent, I don't want to do that. She's got a heater up there, though. It's, got a... it's not sufficient. It's not sufficient, Graham. She needs heat from the house. I wouldn't begrudge my baby any warmth. Of course not. But she gets it all. She gets more than the fair share. There's a handy little window in the door. Look. Yeah, so that's our little dilemma. Plus, we're running out of wood now. We've been blathering it and gathering palm tree leaves, and my supply of wood is looking tremendously diminished. It was up here uh, just before Christmas. So, uh, I had hoped that that stock of wood would last us till the end of the winter, but I might have to order another half a ton. And that's the spiral staircase that goes up to Lady Faith's room at the top there. I'll just go and find out if Lady Faith is warm enough, shall I? It's popping up the stairs. It's my flight simulator. You see a joystick and things. I haven't done any flying for a few days. I say, darling, are you warm enough? No. Are you cold? Yes. What's the temperature doing up here? Uh, it's uh, about 18 degrees. So it's a bit warmer up here. But I've just lit the fire, so... And she's got these oil plug-in electric... Don't disturb my care. ...radiator things. The cat's cosy, look. She knows where the warmest room is, but it's looking pretty grim outside. Let's go out the window. And look out across the Bay of Gibraltar. It's very cold and windy. The wind's dropped a bit. But it's still very cold. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get the... Uh, the photograph up of uh, Prince Andrew, of the dreaded one, with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. And have a closer look at that, I think, because people have been asking me to do that. So I wanted to just point out a few things that I noticed. And uh, young lady Faith there, uh, she, she's into getting pictures up and altering pictures on the, on the computer. So she said, what was it Fiona, Lady Faith said the other night? Oh, what about the photo? About the photo of Andrew. She does that sort of thing all the time. Well, she doesn't fake photos, but she does um, artwork. She looked at it after about two and a half seconds and she said, that's fake. And she said, hand, line there. She pointed out all the things everybody had already pointed out. And she clocked them straight away like that. She said something, so that's fake, totally yeah, fake. Yeah. So if um, it was faked a long time ago, maybe it was convincing a long time ago, <laughs> but certainly not by today's standards. Obviously not, or a lot so, of people wouldn't be questioning it, would they? <laughs> it's clearly a fake. Andrew's been framed. Well, I don't Man's know. innocent. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, the fact that so many people are questioning it, it's obviously not that convincing, is it? There's something... I can't say what it is. I just look at it, and there's something... There's just something that my subliminal is saying. Mm. That's not right. There's mm. something wrong there. And I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Well, there we go. You're going to do a deep dive video, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, more in depth. Yeah, I'll get the actual video. And and um, about cameras and photography and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're very interesting cameras. Interesting indeed.